Understanding these types of drawings, it's what allowed me to generate numbers like these, these, or even these. And that is one of the keys to my success with my set and forget strategy. Because it allows me exactly to know when I should buy or sell. And in this very video, I'm gonna to explain to you each and all of the most important candlestick patterns. Which ones they are, how to understand them, and most importantly, how to profit the shit out of them, how my students and I do every single day. For me, there's two types of candlestick patterns that are the most effective, and that is continuation and reversal patterns. The first one is the continuation patterns, which are the ones that show us that it's gonna pretty much do what it says. It's gonna continue the trend of the market. So this means that the continuation pattern will confirm that price will follow the trend, which is the direction of the market. And then the second one is the reversal pattern, which literally shows us the complete opposite of the continuation one. The continuation keeps with the trend, the reversal patterns show us when the price is going to reverse to a different direction. These are the patterns that are going to indicate to us that the price is going to change the trend of the market. And for any newbies out there, trend is also known as the direction of where the market is headed. So if you have a reversal pattern, this means if the market was bullish, now the market is going to shift bearish due to these indication of these reversal patterns. And obviously vice versa. If we are bearish and then we have a reversal pattern, this is gonna to indicate to us that the market is going to change trend there as well. So let's take a deeper look into this and let me explain in much more detail the best candlestick patterns that I use every single day along with my students to generate loads of profits. So my first and most effective one is the engulfing candlestick. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It engulfs the previous one to two candlesticks. That's why it's called an engulfing candlesticks because it eats the last price action indicating that price is going to continue or reverse, depends how you use it, and explain a little bit more about this later in the video. This candlestick tells us that there is a lot of buyers in the market. So if we have a huge bullish engulfing candlesticks, that means there's a lot of buyers. If we have a huge bearish engulfing candlesticks, that means we have a lot of sellers. And this is all these buyers and sellers operating in the market in real time, because you can see it reflect on the acceleration and on the strength of the actual price action, which is the candlestick. In my case, I consider an engulfing when it closes above and it eats the last two candlesticks. This is the strongest indication you can get. And you wanna make sure you have this bullish engulfing candlestick at an area of interest, rejection from an EMA, and loads of other confluence that give you confirmation that this candlestick is going to be valid and going to continue heading in that direction. But more about this later in the video. The second most important candlestick is the hammer, or also known as the shooting star. It plays both sides, let me explain. This is a pattern that depending on the zone where price is, it's gonna show us something completely different. Usually we interpret the hammer candlestick and the shooting star as a reversal pattern, but they can also be continuation patterns in some cases. And the way you get these hammers or these shooting stars is by when price comes into a zone and has a strong rejection and it creates this wick. Wick is also known as a tail, which is basically a footprint of where the market has been in those past minutes, in those past hours, or whatever time frame you are on in that specific candlestick. So let's just suppose price comes into a support level and then it rejects it and it leaves a huge wick or a tail that is a footprint indicating that the price did not like that zone and then it is rejecting it. So this can show you that price is now going to continue heading to the opposite direction of where that footprint was left. And for a simple analogy of what the footprint is of the market, it's like if you step on a puddle and you walk through a dry floor, you can clearly see that somebody's been there. That's exactly what the wick is. You can see that price has clearly hit a zone, but it's rejected it because it didn't like it and the supply and demand zone were rejecting price from that point. Next, we have a double top or a double bottom. And these are actually very simple to explain because it literally means exactly what I'm saying. It's a double top and a double bottom formation. Let me explain. This is a reversal pattern of once price gets to an area of interest and then it rejects from it two times but it's very specific. So you get a double top form when price reaches an area of interest and then it rejects from it. And then once price comes back into the area to then retest another time and it rejects again, this is when you have a double top formation. This is usually formed at a resistance level. And for a double bottom formation, it's exactly the same. This is when price heads down to the floor of the price, it rejects it, and then it comes back and it does it once again, and then it rejects it as well. This is known as a double bottom and a double top formation. These are beautiful reversal patterns that I use all the time in the markets, and they generate me loads of profits. And this is a very simple and clean reversal pattern that a lot of beginners use, and then if you use it the right way, it can be very beneficial to you. Next, we have the most powerful reversal pattern, I believe, and it is the most overlooked in the market, and people think it's very complicated, but it's actually very easy to see, and once you see 
see it, it's almost like you can't unsee it. It's like, where's Waldo? As soon as you see Waldo on the map, you can't unsee it. It's the same thing with this next pattern and it's called the head and shoulders pattern. Once you see it in the market, it's like you can't unsee it. You're gonna see it everywhere. And this reversal pattern is called like that because it's exactly what it is. It's a left, it's a head, and then a right shoulder. Very simple and very, very effective. This pattern is very powerful, especially when it occurs at a strong area of interest. Now, keep in mind, this is only a reversal pattern. So if you have a head and shoulders at a top of a resistance level, this is gonna indicate that the market is now going to reverse to the downside. If you have an inverted head and shoulders at the bottom of a trend, this is going to indicate to you that the market is now going to reverse and start heading to the upside. Here you can see many examples of head and shoulders in the markets playing out time and time and time again. This is one of the most effective patterns, but it requires a lot of patience. But as soon as you master noticing these head and shoulders, it's going to be very, very beneficial to your trading. Next, we have a doji candlestick. These tend to occur in very specific zones in the market. Let me explain. So this is very similar to the other ones, but this one will form at very strong areas of interest or support and resistance, liquidity zones. They're all the same thing. So this one's very similar to the other ones, but the formation of a doji at a strong area of interest or support or resistance is much more effective and it is very, very powerful. So a doji is when price creates a very small body but then it leaves a footprint that price rejected to the upside and price rejected to the downside. A doji is also looked like a plus sign. This is indicating that there is major undecision in the market. And this can be huge for reversal because if this happens at a strong area of interest, these are strong indications that there will be a reversal in the market. So a doji is formed when it has a footprint to the downside and a footprint to the upside with a very small body. And in this example right here, you can see how the doji is very powerful when it's used at a level of support and resistance. And the more dojis you have, the more indication you have that it is going to reverse. And this pattern is usually combined with our next one, which is a morning star or evening star. Morning star is formed when it is going to go bullish and evening star is formed when it is going to go bearish. When the doji and the morning star is combined, it is one of the most powerful entry signals you can get in the market. Same thing for the evening star. In this case, this is when you get a large candlestick to reach a level of support then followed by a doji candlestick, and then the next one is a bullish engulfing. This is known as a morning star rejection. This sets for a major high probability trade that is going to reverse or continuation, depending what you're looking to do in the market. In this example right here, you can see how price reached a level of support, it rejected the level of support and resistance. We had the red candlestick, we had the doji, and then we had the bullish engulfing where it then continued the formation to the upside. This type of example, you're going to see time and time again in the markets. I've been doing this now for six years and I don't stop seeing this formation happening again and again and again. And these here are the most relevant and the most common candlesticks out there, but a lot of people don't understand them properly. But this is how I interpret them. This is how I teach my students to interpret it because it is very simple and very effective. And I use it on a daily basis with my center forget strategies that generates me figures like these, these, or even these. And if you wanna learn more about my center forget strategy and how it generates new traders anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a week as a beginner set and forget trader, just hit the link in the description below. I have a video for you that explains absolutely everything from zero to 100. And you can probably be one of my students and one of my success stories that I have where I have traders generating over six figures a month with only one year of doing this and generating anywhere from $1,000 to $1,500 a week in the first three months of using the set and forget strategy. So I hope you guys found this video useful. Thank you guys for watching the video all the way to the end. Make sure to hit that like subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next one.